Hello everyone, King Abby, back today with another video. Now today everyone, I'll be showing you my Sky Wars winning strategy. So, um, yes, I could, yeah, I, I would also say that it's a experience strategy, because it does uh, level up me pretty easily, but I haven't been playing Sky Wars too much, so I'm not like the highest level, but yeah. So, even though I'm a solo, I go into duos matches, because like this is um basically just how I get XP. You get more kill more kills and duos and stuff. So yeah. Um I just lagged there. Um uh, my favorite map is Anora on duos. I didn't even get to vote for it, but it's still one anyway, so that's nice. <laughs> yeah. And basically, um so you start with a stone sword, iron pickaxe and a stone axe. I try to get like as many chests as I can by just breaking them with a stone axe. Because then it just gives you the loot automatically. So I just do that real quick. Sometimes I mine ores like on the way to the chest or something. So yeah. I mine I'm gonna I'm gonna get I just took all the stuff from my teammate. I'll give them I always give my teammates some stuff. I drop the extra items. So yeah. I'm just gonna do all that. Alright, also try to get a tracking compass, so whenever, like, later in the game, if I, I want to go find people, I just use the tracking compass, and I find them. Yeah. Once I, like, loot all the chests and only just go to the outer middle island, which is this little island here. I mine redstone, diamonds, emeralds. I never really go for lapis, though. But... Yeah. It also, if there is an ore on the um, edge, uh, like how there is an emerald block here, I just place the block there, and I broke it. Because normally, whenever you mine ores on the edge, they fall in the void. So that basically makes it so it can't fall. So yeah. Also, make sure there's a block underneath it, and not like it's like make sure it's not about to fall. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I'm just um. Yeah, I go rush people with the stuff I get while I go to um teams, and it normally works out. Right here, just killed that guy. Alright, there we go. And also, yeah, I try to... Basically, um, whenever you're going to go to bases or people, try to get ores on the way. That's just good advice. Uh, and also, whenever I don't know where people are, I just use a tracking on this. I mean, I could explore the map, but it's faster just using the tracking on this and finding them. Straight path right to them. And they had one heart. <laughs> okay, there we go. Full diamond like that. And a sharp too. That is perfect. And snowballs right there. Drop the stuff I don't want. I never use bows in this. So, yeah, I don't need the arrows for the bow. Alright, next person is at middle. Try to go over here. Now, I d even if I die, I just keep on doing the strategy, and I can level up, like, just that. I also, um, try to break the mystery chests whenever you can, whenever it's, like, here, because they do give you some XP for opening them. That. Ah, uh, I was gonna switch to that, my, uh, sharp one sword. I thought it was sharp two. I'm pretty sure my, the sword I'm holding is sharp two. Yeah, I think I can definitely kill one of those guys, yeah. I had a lot of extra hearts. Alright, so... Who's next? Uh, green base. Okay. Now, Sky Wars games don't last as long as Treasure Wars games. So it's, like, pretty... Um, fast to win or lose. And, oh yeah, normally whenever I get a Fire Aspect Sword... Or while I just fight these people. I put it in my, um, one of my slots, so I can quickly switch to that. So I hit people with it, and then I just go use my other sword. And, boom. I won. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty easy, um, to win on this. Unless you're going against people that are good at the game. So, yeah. I'm gonna just go into another duos match. Now, you also might, uh, be 2v1ing people. I mean, I just 2v1ed a bunch of people that match. But, I won pretty easily. <laughs> yeah. Because, like, I'd get stuff, and then I'd try to surprise the my neighbors. My neighbor bases, like, whenever they're still trying to mine some ores at their own base. And, yeah. It works out 
yeah, very well. <laughs> Pretty well, yeah. <laughs> and I just try to get the stuff um, for my teammate here, which is a frog. But I also look at my royal flag. You get that at, like, level 21 or 20 or something, I think. I don't know. And Emerald Ore, I do want that. So I, that. I try to, while I'm, like, going to other chests, put on the iron armor first. Because I did um, there's a glitch though if you right click um, or the place button on controller players on bedrock uh, whenever you're holding whenever you're wearing a changed uh, helmet if you do it with a iron one or like if you try to put an iron helmet on it just it doesn't work so like that's like sort of a glitch but I don't think it's a high glitch I think it's just uh I'm gonna just pearl right here yeah I think it's just a uh, What's it called? The, the bedrock glitch. I'm, I can't think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well. Yeah, basically, this is a... It's pretty easy strat. Oh, yeah, and here's my fire aspect sword. I like to have. Yeah, and now I'm almost full diamond. So. Works pretty well. Uh, yeah. Those are both basically diamond chest plates, by the way. Prot 1 iron chest plates. That basically just makes it a diamond chest plate, if you don't know that. And because the tracking comes, oh, these people went to middle. Yeah, yeah. Another actually, well, you don't have to do my strategy though. Uh, I normally just go rush bases, but another good strategy is to rush right to middle because the ender chest at middle gives you diamond armor. I forgot to switch to my fire aspect sword. I don't know why he's running whenever I have a stone sword. I was using a stone sword on him like an idiot. Oh, this guy is here. Hello. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna die. <laughs> don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't know how he had so much HP, but I died. Yeah. So here, now I'm going to actually um show off the other strategy. Um, uh, in Sky Wars, basically, you just get all the loot at your island, and as soon as the border drops, try to as soon as possible get to middle. And get all the stuff from the ender chest. Here, I'm gonna vote for. Uh, I always forget to vote for when the match is, I guess. So, yeah. Alright. Okay, this is. Wait, uh, this is Dynasty. Okay. Yeah. The map name. Alright. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, also on this map. Basically, to get the loot as soon as possible, I just, yeah, I just mine the chest with an axe. I'm, it's the smartest thing to do, basically, because it's a lot faster than just trying to loot it manually. Yeah, here, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I see. Oh, no, please. Okay, good. There we go. Alright, I, I didn't, I didn't. So, if you don't know, during warm-up round, which is, like, the first, like, 30 seconds of the match, um, you respawn if you die, and the only way to die is to fall off. Also, did this guy pearl? He definitely pearled in the middle. Wait! Oh! Oh, no! I can't- <laughs> Okay, well, I- I was- I was messing- I thought gold- was an enemy to be honest that was my teammate and then some other guy showed up and only went for me okay well i still want to um show you my other strategy though i'm just going straight to middle if i die i don't really just go into a new match and keep on playing until i get bored and uh, i don't know I'm gonna play something else so. <laughs> so yeah all right so yeah if you the um at the ender chest at middle here there's ender chests all at middle. There's not a lot, but there's like four, or I think there's like four in each match. I don't know, probably more. I think there's more though. But yeah, there's four ender chests, and they give you diamond armor. And um, I, mean, I think I'm pretty sure gapples and ender pearls. Pretty sure from those. They're pretty OP chests. They're the best chests in the game. Uh, in this game mode. Alright, I always set up my inventory. Like this. And mine the diamonds. There we go. Alright. And I'm gonna just pearl. And I miss because I'm bad. <laughs> How do I have three pearls? Oh well. 
I almost died. <laughs> I almost thought I missed for some reason. Alright, yeah. As you can see there, that gives you some good stuff. And they're not always in the same pattern in the maps. I try to memorize where they all are. So, yeah, you can try doing that too. Pretty simple to know. You can just look around. They're not very hidden. But they can be hidden like this. Yeah. Okay. I also got a golden apple. There we go. So I just, um, if I do do use this strategy, the going straight to middle strategy, I just try to loot all the inner chests and kill anyone who's here. I'll try to. And then I go and fight the other teams that are still alive. Um, see, this is an enemy right here, and he's running. Um, they're gonna try to 2v1 me. Okay, well, they're succeeding. Somehow, that guy does a ton of damage. Maybe he has a shark, too. Alright. Block trap, block trap. And, yeah. <laughs> That's how I do it whenever I run from people. Normally, it doesn't work that well. Oh, I actually use the swiftness. Oh, well. But, yeah, these people were chasing me, then I just block trap both of them. And I hit them while they were falling. <laughs> that was, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna block trap them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's, that's just the sweet life. Block trapping people. It's very satisfying to do it. <laughs> it is though. <laughs> I want to try to mine some ammo or to regain some HP. They give you some absorption hearts that are very good. Did I? I definitely need that. Yeah. I looted like all these chests. Normally, you get full diamond like pretty. Oh. Okay. There we go. I have a lot of pearls for some reason. I'm gonna just do that in case they try to pearl. I'll just do that. Alright. These guys? Okay, well there's still another team left, but these are the closest players right now. I'm gonna just run past them. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. So I'm down. I'll sew myself down. Actually, I want my own inventory. Okay. It seems blue is the last people. Wait, are, is this blue? This is blue. Okay. Oh, I can't block trap. Yeah. And that one just fell, and now I can fight this one. <laughs> yeah. I try to do sneaky stuff like that. Just go on the side and hit them in the void whenever they're trying to cross like that, or just block trap them. And, yeah. There we go. Is this a swiftness? No. Well, I'm not. Is that, is that a life? But then I read it. Yeah. Okay. Now, last team. Okay. My well, last team is over here. You can see all my tracking compass. Also, if you're going to use the tracking compass, try to right click it every now and then, because it's not always correct. And if you right click it, basically, like. Refreshes it, and this guy is building a giant wall in front of his base. I don't know why. I'm gonna use the swiftness because I can. Yes, star. <laughs> and there you is he? Oh, how's he still alive? Okay, there you go. <laughs> GG. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, winning Sky Wars is pretty easy though. So I'm gonna go back to up. Yeah, so if you want to use any of those strategies that I always do whenever I'm playing Sky, um, Sky Wars here on the Hive, um, you can do, do that if you want. And also, um, everyone, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss more. And I will see you next time, everyone. Bye!